What's going on, Miami Dolphin fans? We got some breaking news here. The Miami Dolphins have gone out and they have signed to Ron Armstead. I mean, you were looking for somebody that could fix the offensive line. You were looking for the top free agent out there. I said yesterday on Dolphins Today, Armstead is in Miami and you cannot let this man leave. And that's exactly what the Dolphins went ahead and they did here. He goes ahead and he signs a five-year, $75 million deal with the Dolphins, including $43.37 million in guaranteed money. And this contract can be worth up to $87.75 million in incentives, which I actually think is a very good deal, not only for Armstead, but especially good for the Miami Dolphins. Now, we're going to go ahead and break everything down that you need to know here around Armstead, the offensive line, Tua Tonga Vailoa, all of it. But first, I want to know, what is your one-word reaction to this signing? He was the top free agent out there. I'm going to go ahead and give my one-word reaction as protection because you know what in my young life? I realize sometimes you need to have good protection. And when you decide to invest in a young quarterback like Tua Tonga Bailoa, when you invest in the amount of pieces that they have around him, it doesn't matter. If you can't protect your quarterback, it doesn't matter. So now you go out and get Armstead, the top left tackle, arguably the best offensive tackle in the National Football League. He's going to be your Tua protection. That's what it is. If somebody, if there was a company in Miami they would make condoms with Teron Armstead's head on it because that's protecting Tua. He needed an offensive tackle. He was the top tackle out there. You didn't let him leave Miami. Now, if you guys are looking for news, rumors, all that good stuff, breaking news, I promised you, if the Dolphins make a move, somebody here at Chat Sports will be breaking it down for you, whether that's me, whether that's Tom, whether it's the new guy, yeah, we'll announce him here in a little bit uh, coming up in the week. But we will give you guys a video. So it's important to hit that subscribe button. It's important to turn on those notifications. That way you don't miss a thing. In terms of what does the Dolphins offensive line look like as it stands right now, this is what it's going to look like. You have Teron Armstead as your left tackle. And Sam, you can leave this up here so I can explain a few ideas. Maybe you can kick Liam Eikenberg. Over to right tackle, that could be an option. Maybe you go ahead and you decide to put Eichenberg, I don't know, as your right guard. You could also consider, and I've thrown this idea out here before on this show, putting Teron Armstead as the right tackle, having him protect to his blind side. That allows you to keep Liam Eichenberg at left tackle. You could also maybe try to put Austin Jackson, who was a first-round pick. There's a lot of different areas that you can go with with the Dolphins' offensive line, but I do know this. It is already so much better. The fact that you went out and got Connor Williams, the fact that you went out and got Armstead on the deal that you did is impressive. And the reason why I think this is a good deal for Miami is because I've said it before. He's the best offensive tackler, one of the best in the National Football League when he's healthy. The fact that he can make up to all this money is good for him. The reason why the Dolphins went ahead and did that is because he's missed tons of and tons of football action. In 2013, played in six games. 2014, 14. 2015, played in 13. 2016, played in only seven games. In 2017, played in 10 games. He's never played over 16 games in an entire NFL season. And then when you look at just the past two years, played in only eight games last year, played in only 14 games in 2022. But there's no doubt about it. The Dolphins... Needed help on the offensive line. And when you look at their PFF grades from last season, Liam Meikenberg, 50.7. I get it, he's a rookie. You're hoping he can flourish. I've always said I thought of him a little bit more as a guard. Austin Jackson, 49.9. That one didn't really work out for you either. Maybe they decide to throw him at a tackle position. Michael Deiter, Robert Hunt, Jesse Davis. You needed to make some major adjustments. Connor Williams is a, an adjustment. To Ron Armstead is a major, major adjustment. Now, I've always been a big fan of Armstead since his days with the New Orleans Saints. I thought he did a lot of good things for that organization. Drew Brees would be the first one to tell you, nobody's going to hit you if Armstead's on the field. And that's what Tua needs to know when he goes in out there on that football field, that he's going to have time. Because even though 
He gets the ball out quick. I'm talking about Tua. He still got hit a shit ton last season. Now, if you guys want to go ahead and bet on March Madness, it's been crazy, y'all. I've loved from what I've seen from college basketball. You can actually go ahead and do so by going to chatsports.com slash bet. Use promo code DOLPHINS125. That's going to get you 125% deposit bonus. So what exactly does that mean? It means if you put down $100, you're going to get $125 for free to bet with. Put down $200, get $250 for free to bet with. Put down $500, get $600, and uh, what did I say? $500, get $625 for free to bet with. I saw some of these March Madness odds. We got new ones. Look at this. The Gonzaga Bulldogs win it all, plus $225. The Arizona Wildcats, sorry, Harrison, plus $500. Kansas Jayhawks, what up, Tyler, plus 500. The Purdue Boilermakers at plus 900. And then the Duke Blue Devils at plus 1400. If you want to go ahead and bet on March Madness, one place to do it. One place only. That's at chatsports.com slash bet. Promo code is Dolphins125. Let's keep on breaking down here everything you need to know about the latest news here around the Miami Dolphins of them going out and signing offensive tackle to Ron Armstead. A few days ago, I was on Chat Sports. I believe it's a Sunday with all this free agency stuff. My days are blending together a little bit. I had Armstead as the number one ranked free agent still left available. And in fact, when we first started breaking down all these videos on Chat Sports, I had Armstead at two behind Devontae Adams. Devontae Adams ended up getting franchise tagged by the Green Bay Packers, traded over to the Las Vegas Raiders, which then puts you at this spot. Armstead as the number one free agent. So go down in the comments section right now, and I want you to grade the signing of Armstead. Five years, 75 million, 43 guaranteed, up to 87. I personally don't understand how anybody, maybe you want to be a little bit worried about the injuries, but this is an A-plus grade. I think it's a good deal for Miami. It's the fact that it's also incentivized as well. You get the top player at the top position of need. This is a slam dunk. I don't know what else you possibly could want if you're a Miami Dolphin fan. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to give it an A-plus grade. And if you guys are big-time Dolphin fans and you're not giving it an A grade, I'm really going to question what the heck is going on in that old big old noggin of y'all's. So remember, here at Dolphins today, we break down the news, we break down the rumors. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do so. If you haven't liked the video yet, guys, I got off of work. I came back here to work to give you this video. Why? Chat Sports is built different. In terms of some of the other moves that the Dolphins have made already in this free agency period throughout the week, the first move that they made was actually bringing back Emmanuel Logba on a four-year $65 million deal, $32 million guaranteed, which was actually, you know, technically 10 minutes before the whole tampering period ended up going down. I knew that this move was a good move, and I love from what I've seen out of Chris Greer, Mike McDaniel, they've been aggressive. This move by Chase Edmonds, two years, 12.6 mil. I mean, that one's a hell of a move as well. The Connor Williams move is a very good one from top to bottom. At the end of the day, we promised you, we would keep you up to date with everything going on with the Miami Dolphins. And I said, once the Dolphins go ahead and they sign Armstead, which I said yesterday, we're going to go ahead and break it on down for you. So again, it was a five-year, $75 million deal, $43.37 million guaranteed. Everybody, welcome Teron Armstead to Miami.